Hi Techie guys, I am Nand Kishore Swami and today we would be learning about how to check if a particular website is already running uh, and then manipulate it accordingly. So let's get started and the code that we would be using is from uh, our previous uh, tutorial. So here we have the same code. So let me just uh, make it a little bit more neat and clean. So I'll just take all the variable a little bit up. and the other one is so before we create a new instance of IE object here we will verify if this particular website is already running then in that case we do not need to create a new instance of Internet Explorer so let's also have another variable which would be holding the value of URL so let me cut it and URL add string. Okay. So before we create a new instance of IE object, we will check if that particular Google or the particular website is already running so right now you can see that there are two websites is already open and running on uh, my IE browser so let's loop through each open browser and check if Google is already running so to check we would be using for loop for each IE in so all the windows uh, are called shell windows so we will we would be looping through each cell window and we'll check if IE and the URL would be in local URL and we'll check if that contains the value of URL which we want to navigate if that's the condition then exit for so there might be cases the uh, particular website that we are trying to validate is running or may not be running so in the case of it's not running then we need to create a new instance of uh, IE browser so let's check if IE is nothing it means uh, this did not find in the already running windows then we will create a new instance so let me take you through the code again so first we have created the variables first one is Internet Explorer's uh, instance variable or the object then the the control which we gonna manipulate with, uh, will be presented in the IE document so the second variable is the document and the third one is element the, a particular element that we are trying to manipulate and the code we are using from our previous tutorial so once we have these all the variable uh, declared we are looping through each open Internet Explorer so this will be group of the Internet Explorer running on this particular uh, computer so, and then we are checking if the URL contains the URL that we are trying to navigate if that's the condition then we'll exit for and the IE would be automatically set to the URL that uh, we are trying to navigate and here we are checking if that's the condition that URL is already running then we are not going to create a new instance of Internet Explorer if we couldn't find the URL that is we are trying to navigate is not running then we'll create a new instance of Internet Explorer so let's run this code I just hit the F11 so it's running it's building building is in process so there we go so I'll just minimize these windows so we can see 
how it goes and let's see the URL value now so it's www.msn.com which is there currently running on our browser and the condition did not meet because this didn't doesn't uh, contain google.com now this is the second website yeah there we go so it has uh, google.co.in so our condition is met this URL contains the URL that we are trying to navigate there we go and it exits support so now we already found the IE so it should not be nothing so it will not create a new instance and we navigate then we set it to visible and let me go to the Google to see how it goes so we just do and we set it so that's it in this tutorial thanks for watching see you in next video